Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Drag Race gossip, secrets and drama. So today we're going to be talking about 7 Drag Race queens who have turned down an opportunity to appear on All Stars including Kim Chi, Laganja Estranja and Adore Delano among others. All that and more coming up in today's video, so let's get started. Please note that because we'll be talking about All Stars and behind the scenes gossip, there is a spoiler alert in place for this video. Kim Chi Kim Chi competed on Season 8 of Drag Race in 2016 and she made it to the final three and placed runner-up. On Season 8, Kim Chi proved that she was a very conceptual look queen and is a very talented makeup artist. Many people over the years have said that they would like to see Kim Chi return for All Stars because she did so well on her original season. However, it appears as though there might be a reason why Kim Chi has not appeared on All Stars yet. Kim Chi has previously said in interviews that she feels as though she has nothing new to offer on the show and she has also implied as though she has been asked to come back for All Stars but she turned it down. Kim Chi has also said that she would only go back to All Stars if she did it with Naomi Smalls. However, this seems to not be the case because Naomi appeared on All Stars 4 in 2018 and Kim Chi did not. But Kim Chi did appear on the Christmas Hollis Slay Spectacular in 2018 and is the only queen from the cast to have not appeared on All Stars so far. So perhaps Kim Chi will change her mind about All Stars in the future. Kim Chi's feud with Thorgy Thor as some bonus tea about Kim Chi, during my research for this video, I came across some information about an apparent feud between Kim Chi and fellow Season 8 competitor Thorgy Thor. During a Roscoe's viewing party for All Stars 3 in February 2018, Kim Chi was one of the guests and she said that there was someone in the All Stars 3 cast that she didn't get on with. Kim Chi didn't want to say the Queen's name, but she said to check her Instagram to see who she's not following and it turned out to be Thorgy Thor, and Kim is still not following Thorgy to this day. Kim didn't give any other details about the feud, however, Thorgy talked about Kim during a live show once and gave a potential reason for the feud. Thorgy said that during the Haters Roast, Kim made some really nasty jokes about Thorgy that seemingly came out of nowhere. And she, literally, this is Kim Chi's jokes at the roast. She was like, Thorgy Thor, out of all the girls that I tour with, all year long, you're the least favorite that I've ever hung out with. And Kim Chi also apparently made some jokes about Thorgy losing All Stars, although it had not actually aired yet on TV. Yeah, oh, and then she <laughs> called me out. This is before the team, before All Stars even aired. She goes, you're so horrible that this is why you went home second on All Stars. Oh my God. This is what Kim Chi did. Thorgy also said she had no idea what she had done to Kim and she really loves Kim. And she also said that everyone else was really uncomfortable about what Kim had said. And we were backstage and Kim Chi looks at me and, and we were all looking at her like, girl, you have to explain yourself. And she goes, hey, Thorgy, did I go too far? <laughs> I called you like, she's like, Thorgy, you're a sociopath. Everyone hates you. You're disgusting. I hate seeing you. The sight of you makes me sick. <laughs> So who knows if this is the real reason behind their feud, but given that Kim is still not following Thorgy on Instagram, but Thorgy does follow Kim, it appears as though Kim might still have a beef with Thorgy. I'd just like to take a moment to say thank you to today's video sponsor, Atlas VPN. For any of you who don't know what a VPN is, a VPN is a way for you to encrypt your IP address and make it seem like you are located in a different country than you actually are. This is especially useful if you want to watch content that is only available in certain countries. For example, if you're based in the US and you try and search for RuPaul's Drag Race on Netflix, you'll see that nothing comes up. However, using Atlas VPN, you can switch your location to the UK and just like magic, seasons 1 to 13 of Drag Race are available for you to watch on Netflix. Atlas VPN is the best VPN deal on the market and they have the cheapest rates I find on the internet which is why I wanted to share this deal with my lovely subscribers. Right now Atlas VPN is running a huge discount which means you can get a 3 year subscription for just $1.99 a month with a 30 day money back guarantee. Time is running out so get your deal by clicking the link in the video description below. Atlas VPN also protects you online by keeping your Google searches private and it also stops ads and malware and can even save you money when shopping online. 
And the best part is that you can use Atlas VPN on multiple devices and a single subscription covers all of your devices. So make sure you take advantage of this amazing limited time deal that Atlas VPN is running where you can get a three year subscription for just $1.99 a month with a 30 day money back guarantee. Click the link in the description to get your deal today. And now let's get back to some more juicy drag race gossip. Angina. Angina competed on season one of Drag Race in 2009 and then returned for All Stars 5 in 2020. This means that Angina holds the record for the biggest hiatus between seasons with 11 regular seasons and four All-Star seasons. It's also been said online that Angina has been shortlisted for every All-Star season but has never made the final cast until All-Stars 5. However, I couldn't find any concrete evidence of this rumour. However, it appears as though Angina was originally asked to be on All-Stars 1 but ultimately turned it down. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Angina was asked about why it took so long for her to appear on All Stars. Angina said, quote, I declined All Stars 1 due to the fact that I had a different career I was focused on and I couldn't get the time off to do it. There was another opportunity for a different season, but unfortunately that didn't work out, but I'm happy that I finally got on this one. Angina gave some further details about this and said, quote, I was working as a visual merchandising manager overseeing a large region of the company and I had three store openings because I was spearheading the expansion in the West Coast. I was like, bring me on, but if I need to leave to do a conference call, can I do that? So it appears as though Angina's long hiatus between seasons may have been out of choice rather than because she was never asked. Trixie Mattel Please make sure you hit subscribe and ring the bell to be notified for my future videos. Trixie Mattel competed on season 7 in 2015 and then went on to win All Stars 3 in 2018. In May 2022, All Stars 7 premiered and it was an all winners season with a mix of winners from their original seasons as well as winners of All Stars seasons. Many people wondered why Trixie Mattel didn't take part in All Stars 7 because Trixie is now one of the most well-known queens from the show and is the most followed drag race queen on Instagram as of June 2022. Trixie talked about this during an interview with Pink News in April 2022. Trixie said that she was indeed asked to be on All Stars 7 but she turned down the opportunity because she was just too busy with other projects. Trixie explained that she is very close with World of Wonder, the production company that makes Drag Race, and they had previously promised her that if there ever was an all winners season, she would be asked if she wanted to be involved. Trixie has also said in other interviews that she wouldn't want to compete again because she doesn't enjoy competitions. And she also said that she prefers being a judge like on Queen of the Universe. But Trixie did say that she would be open to doing some sort of collaboration with Drag Race and her own show Trixie Motel. So we'll have to see if anything ever comes of that. Sharon Needles Sharon Needles competed on season 4 of Drag Race in 2012 and was the winner. You may be surprised to see Sharon on this list because she won her original season so there would not be a reason for her to appear on All Stars. However, what you may not know is that for All Stars 1, which premiered in 2012 just after season 4 had finished, Sharon actually turned down the opportunity to take part in All Stars 1. You may remember that in the earlier seasons of Drag Race, the show ran Facebook competitions where viewers could vote for the queen they most wanted to appear on the show. The queen with the most votes was then offered a place on the show. For example, Nina Flowers was the Facebook vote winner for Season 1, Adore Delano won the Facebook vote for Season 5 but didn't actually appear until Season 6, and then Darian Lake was the last ever Facebook winner in Season 6. And for All Stars 1, they actually ran a Facebook vote for viewers to vote for who they wanted to see on All Stars 1 and Sharon Needles was number 1 in the voting. However, Sharon turned down the opportunity to be on All Stars 1 because she was the reigning champion at the time and was too busy to take part. And so the queen who was number 2 in the Facebook vote was cast instead, which was Pandora Box. And interestingly, Mimi on first was number 3 in the voting, which is the reason why Raven mentioned this during the infamous untucked fight between Mimi and everyone else in All Stars 1. 
you, Mimi, I'm first. Mimi, I'm first was number third in the voting. I could not believe it. Also, just as some background information about All Stars 1 in case you're interested. Anyone who has watched All Stars 1 may have wondered why they chose for the queens to compete in pairs, because this was ultimately a very unpopular decision, and this is why All Stars 1 has a slightly negative reputation among fans. Well, it has since been revealed that the producers had originally chosen 12 queens to compete on the season, but the network would only agree to buy 6 episodes because All Stars was a new show at the time and they weren't sure if it was going to be a hit or not. But the producers didn't want to cut any of the queens, so that's why they decided to pair them into teams so that all 12 queens could still compete on the season even though there were only 6 episodes. Laganja Estranja Laganja Estranja appeared on season 6 of Drag Race in 2014. Laganja is one of the most quoted queens in Drag Race history, and her iconic lines such as I feel very attacked as well as occur have become historic. Her entrance line on season 6 is also one of the most iconic entrances ever. Oh y'all wanted a twist, eh? Come on season 6, let's get sick me! So it's probably no surprise that Laganja is one of the queens that has been most requested when it comes to returning for All Stars. However, it appears as though Laganja has previously turned down All Stars and has not shown much interest in returning. Laganja has previously said in interviews that she would not return for All Stars because she doesn't like reality TV and competitions. And in fact, in an interview with Gay Star News in July 2019, when asked about returning for All Stars, Laganja said, quote, it's a question I've been asked every year after doing the show. My answer's always been no. I'll be honest, it was quite traumatic. But Laganja went on to say that she did say yes one year to All Stars, but she refused to give them more information when it came time for the mandatory psych evaluation, so she ultimately wasn't approved to be on the show. Laganja explained and said, quote, I refused to give them the more information they required because it was legally my right to do so, so I didn't end up going on that season. There is also a rumour online that said that Laganja was asked to be on All Stars 2, but turned it down because it clashed with the 2015 VMA performance with Miley Cyrus that Laganja was involved in. I couldn't find any information to support this rumour, however the VMAs in 2015 took place on the 30th of August, and according to sources online, All Stars 2 filmed sometime in the August slash September of 2015, so the timelines would at least make sense. And Laganja did appear as a lip sync assassin on All Stars 6 and gave one of the best performances ever which created quite a buzz online. So we'll have to wait and see if Laganja ever changes her mind about returning to All Stars as a contestant in the future. Adore Delano Adore Delano competed in Season 6 in 2014 and placed runner-up. She also appeared in All Stars 2, which premiered in 2016, however she left the competition voluntarily in Episode 2. Adore is one of the most popular contestants from the show, and she has one of the largest followings on social media, so it was no surprise when she was asked to appear on All Stars 2. However, a lot of people were surprised when Adore quit All Stars 2 during the second episode. I've talked about this in a previous video, which I'll link to in the description, but Adore has said that the reason she quit All Stars 2 was because of the harsh critiques she received from the judges, especially Michelle Visage and guest judge Raven Simonier. At the reunion for All Stars 2, Adore implied as though she might return for another All Stars, but then in other interviews she has said that she wouldn't return because she doesn't like being judged on her drag. However, it appears as though Adore did actually say yes to appearing in All Stars 6 in 2020, but ultimately turned down the opportunity. In an Instagram Live video, Adore was asked about All Stars 6, and she said that she was actually contacted for All Stars 6, but they wouldn't approve her talent show number. Adore on All Stars 6? I was actually almost going to do it, but my talent number was too risky. I think. But I was not letting up. I was like, I'm not going to do it unless you let me do this talent number. Adore also added that she was going through some things in her personal life at the time, which is another reason why she said no. But Adore added that she would have to be in the right headspace if they asked her again, which would imply as though she is at least open to returning for All Stars. So if they ask me, I have to be in the right headspace, you know? Get all the vibrations up. 
so we'll have to just wait and see. Ben de la Creme Ben de la Creme appeared on season 6 of Drag Race in 2014 and she also appeared on All Stars 3 in 2018. Dela had been a firm favourite on Drag Race ever since she appeared on Season 6, so many people weren't surprised when she was announced as the cast on All Stars 3. But as most of us know, Dela was a frontrunner on All Stars 3 and was expected to win, but her self-elimination shocked everyone. However, what you may not know is that there is a rumour online that says that Dela was actually asked to appear on All Stars 2, which was filmed in 2015, but she turned it down. The reason for her turning All Stars 2 down was apparently because she disliked how the producers were willing to manipulate the queens and their friendships with each other for drama. I couldn't find any concrete evidence of this rumour. However, there was another rumour that said that Dela turned down All Stars 2 because the dates clashed with her residency in Provincetown. According to an article that I found online from Provincetown magazine, Dela started her residency in Provincetown in August of 2015. And online sources have said that All Stars 2 filmed sometime in the August slash September of 2015 and then premiered in 2016. So although the rumour is unsubstantiated, as far as I can tell, those timelines would at least make sense as to why Dela didn't appear on All Stars 2. So there you go, there were 7 drag race queens who have turned down the opportunity to be on All Stars. Were any of these a surprise to you? And which one of these queens would you most like to see again on Drag Race? Let me know in the comments. As usual, please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you liked this video. And if you could please like, comment or share this video, it would really help to boost the algorithm and promote my video to more people. It's a quick and easy way to show support for my channel and I'd really appreciate it. Please make sure you also follow me on Instagram where I post exclusive did you know fun facts and I also post interactive quizzes and polls in my Instagram stories where you can also interact with other drag race queens and look at their replies. So make sure you follow me at drag tea served on Instagram for some extra content that you won't see on YouTube. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll join me again in future videos. Thank you, bye!